I brought you a drink, darling. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> he grew up in Chagrin Falls and was probably best known by the world for giving us major laughs in the Carol Burnett Show. Tim Conway, iconic comedian, television star, has died at the age of 85. Conway was not only from Northeast Ohio, he also worked here at Channel 3. Leon Bibb has a fascinating connection to him and now shares that story. It takes a look back at the life of a comedy legend. He was the comedian from Cleveland, the guy who first learned how to bring a chuckle from Chagrin Falls, where he went to high school before he began to find his comedic chops at Bowling Green State University. Tim Conway knew only one way. He provided the laugh track for much of America, having honed his skills from Cleveland to Hollywood. After graduation from Bowling Green, Conway worked as a director at Channel 3. Then he moved over to Channel 8, where he directed and became an ad-lib artist on the Goulardi Show of the 1960s. America was finding Conway, and he giggled his way to the Steve Allen Show. After that came McHale's Navy, where he portrayed the bumbling Ensign Parker. And there was the Cleveland-based Mike Douglas Show. Come you on, officer, can. just a little teensy-weensy drink. Come on, can't hurt you. I've heard about your kind. <laughs> but he skyrocketed further once Carol Burnett tapped him for her show, where Conway was both a writer and an actor. On a Channel 3 show in the 1980s, Conway talked about how he tickled America's funny bone on the Carol Burnett show. I would write one thing, and being a writer, I would know that I was going to say something else. So whenever I got Harvey out there for a sketch, what he thought was coming because it had been written one way never showed up and I would do something else. In 1980, Conway starred in his own show. He could star or he could play second banana. No matter, he owned the stage. We Clevelanders of that time saw Tim Conway, the Chagrin Falls kid, as one of us whose zany one-liners and comical skits paved the way for our stellar career. He made us laugh. I shared the stage with Tim Conway once when I was master of ceremonies for the dedication of the new Grand Ballroom at Bowling Green State University, and Conway was our entertainment. On stage, he owned it. The kid from Chagrin Falls, whose professional life was a laugh a minute. Tim Conway, dead at age 85. He was quite a fellow, too. I mean, he had a way with words. He had a way with, with keeping you laugh. As I said, a laugh a minute. When we worked together at Bowling Green State University I, long, just a few years ago, I was master of ceremonies, and Tim Conway was the entertainer. And I said, thank you for coming for this donating your time to Bowling Green. He says, free, free, what do you mean free? I thought I was getting paid. <laughs> it was all part of an act, and of course, the crowd went wild. I played straight man to Tim Conway. What a great connection, Leon. Mm -hmm. Great story. Thank and he'll you. be missed, of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much.